the fifth most common objection that i think you will face is uh, sanjay i have enough money and i don't believe in insurance uh, that's the other objection that i've been getting is sanjay i think i have enough money and i don't i don't believe in insurance well mr client i'm so glad you told me that you don't believe in insurance but let me ask you something um <laughs> insurance is nothing that you have to believe in i mean it's like you have a car Uh, you need to buy car insurance because that's what the purpose is if you lose your car you want to be protected it's all about whether you have enough money or not you are the asset for your family right uh <laughs> the whole purpose of insurance is to transfer risk that you can't handle you see you are very good at managing money you're intelligent you're smart i don't think you need insurance but your children your wife your family might not be as intelligent at managing money the way you are they need someone as a plan b so my job is only to create money so that they have more time to be able to learn how to manage money because you are very smart i have no doubt in your capability let's get that very clear you don't need life insurance but life insurance is not for you life insurance is for your family because they might not be able to manage money the way you do it they might not be able to understand how the business works the way you do it that's the reality 87% of businesses die with the founder that's the reality of the world and numbers don't lie 87% of businesses around the world die with the founder you are intelligent you know how to do it a family probably not that's my job You see, I'm only Plan B. I'm not your Plan A. Go ahead. You have enough money. Keep working on it. In case Plan A fails, I am your Plan B. As simple as that.